It's been a while, but... We're here to catch up with our friend... Bliss. First we have to say hello. Good day, Miss Sally. Are you always here? Correct. Doesn't it get boring? Hmm. No. Of course. Fire and bags bolted together? They are pretty. Hi, Bliss. Good day, man. Hey, Bliss. What's up? Ooh. Oh, okay, so we have an option to progress. This is our quest log. So. We are at midday, I believe. So. Speaking here, we'll advance the, uh... Hmm. Alright. How much time do you spend here every day? What is this, an intervention? I'm just curious. Is that right? Well, man, I'm here way too much, probably. I kinda have to be, you know? And why is that? Because I've written all my best songs away from home, man. When I was alive, I used to hit the local bars or coffee shops all the time whenever we needed the spark of creativity, you know? This is like doing that, or at least close as I can get it here in the purgatory. Hmm, well, that makes sense. Is it annoying to have the guide so close by, though? Can you even relax knowing that he's here too? I mean, I'd prefer if he weren't here. Surprisingly, once I hit flow state, he kind of blurs into the background. Well, like I'm doing right now, Miss Selfie. When that happens, my focus is way too honed in on for him to matter. I'm sure he would hate to hear that. That makes it all the sweeter, man. Oh. Oh, okay. Is Julia just alright on her own? You know, I'd bring her, but... What? Look around you, man. There's no place for a fine lady such as her. Ruffians and lowlifes everywhere. Hey! Clean me here? Yeah, well, maybe you shouldn't be? You're the one who showed me this place! Uh, uh, sorry. You don't look very sorry to me. Hey, looks can, looks can be deceiving. Hmm. So, your hair? What's the secret? Patience. And... Lots of product. Used to glow a lot more in the past, though. Guess I'm not as, uh, into it as I used to be. Things death does to us, huh? Yeah. Hmm, this seems a bit intrusive to ask here, but... Alas. Why'd you have to leave heaven? S sorry it just came out. That was insensitive of me. I understand if it's too personal to talk about. I'd like to talk to you about it, but not now and not here. I hope you understand. Of course. Sorry, again. Don't worry about it. Alright, let's advance. Glad to see you're alright. Come on, blow up a seat. Uh, sure. There we go. So, uh... I hope the guy didn't end up hurting you. I feel really bad about uh, having to leave like that. That wasn't your fault. And don't worry, we just, uh... Talked for a bit. She vaguely threatened me. He vaguely threatened me. But, you know what? That just seems like his MO. But what? Actually, it was more like a monologue followed by a uh, bunch of threats. Sounds about right. What guy, man? I have to be honest, it's scary. Like, he's a bit goofy, but there's something unpredictable about him, you know? And I just I hate surprises. All surprises? Even unexpected gifts? Well, 
I think you understand. I think you understand what I'm getting at. I mean, about not knowing what's gonna happen next, you know? Like what triggers him, how to read his mood, uh, whether he's in a whether he's feeling jovial, whether he's feeling uh, aggressive, violent. Uh, What the hell could possibly happen here? Yeah? What does he really know about us? All that stuff messes with me, man. At least he can't read our minds. Dwellers must be feeling the paranoia even worse. And you're right. It really is scary. Although... Citizens like us, uh... Although I am, uh... Yes, I thought so. Citizens rejects of heaven. Citizens like us, we are probably the more direct subject of the guide's ire. Dwellers, maybe not so much. They don't have as much... They don't have to be as wary of him, but... It really is scary. I'm glad you agree. Anyways, uh, being a newcomer, I guess you haven't heard about in the box? Can't say that I have. <laughs> it's the, it's this form of torture the guide uses on people. Send you to some uh, empty black space and when you're there, uh, can't see, hear, move, and talk. Basically, you can't do anything. So it's like a sensory deprivation thing? Yeah. Well, that's terrifying. I hate it. Tell me about the box. You can feel pain in purgatory. It doesn't really hurt you unless you believe it does. You're already dead after all. The soul, however, now that's another thing entirely. To be lost in nothingness yet sentient. That is a pain that can be felt even after your last breath has been drawn. You have no mouth. And you must scream. Bang, you're dead, see? Yeah, I, I, love, I love that. <laughs> I love that pamphlet cover. That's amazing. Pretty much right at, Pretty much right when I arrived here, I met a friendly guy. Over time, he became a close friend. Now, uh, oh, he almost managed to make me feel at home here. But... Uh, did some stuff that didn't sit well with the guy, and so we ended up in the box for a very long time. When he came out, he... He... Wasn't the same. Wasn't the same after that, man. Never was again. I'm so sorry to hear that. Do you know where he is now? I don't. I see. It's one of my phobias for sure, man. Being all helpless and stuck like that. Just thinking about it has my anxiety spiking. Hmm. You know what? Paragon option. It's all right, but that's not going to happen to you. Well, I mean, really hope so. Thanks, man. Hearing you say that is uh, reassuring. Just wish someone would do something about him, you know. Fat chance that happening since he's the uh, almighty ruler around these parts. But uh, yeah. Besides, not even supposed to be here in Purgatory to begin with, man. That's right, come to think of it. Why did Bliss have to leave heaven? I'm guessing it's probably a sensitive topic, so bringing it up before he's ready to talk about it may be a bad idea. Wouldn't it be a, wouldn't it be a shame if I just accidentally let it slip out in casual conversation earlier? Uh, should we try, ask, try asking the voice about all this? After all, she defended me when I first came here. I doubt she's on board with the whole box thing. Going behind the big guy's back, huh? 
Sounds like a bad idea, man. You'd ask me, I don't think anything good can come from hanging with either of them. Say, yeah. We need to get back to this cool song I've been working on. Talk to you later. Oh, uh, okay. Sounds good. Hmm. Suppose I can't blame them for wanting to stay clear of the deities. Oh, you're still here. Aha, uh -huh. progress the main story to advance further in this route. We need to find uh, Apex Legends here and Sheol. Sheol's in the Dead Man's Park. I need to go to the burger store to hang with uh, Apex here. Good evening, Miss Salvi. Are you always here? Correct. Doesn't it get boring? No. M Maximilian and Yolandi. Hello there. We are... busy. Please, leave us alone. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. That's uh, not a problem. <laughs> After in the future, perhaps consider the ramifications of suddenly approaching someone who may or may not be in the middle of a quandary most dire and therefore unha also unattainable by the... Um... Damn it, Yolandi. What? That's way too many words. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> We're gonna lock. Uh. <laughs> right past time for dinner. Good evening, man. Hey, Bliss. What's up? Nothing. See you later. Not if I see you first, man. Tara for now? Don't have question marks here. We are very much an evening. I want to meet Sheil. Roderick? Hey there, newcomer. How did you know that I'm new here? You can look about you. I've always been good at reading people, you see. That sounds like a useful skill to have. Sure is. Name's Roderick, by the way. I'm Isabel. It's nice to meet you. Likewise. Hmm. Say, do you know anything about the girl over by the wishing well? You mean Sheol? So that's her name? You learn something new every day. <laughs> I love Sheol. As a character, at least from what we know of her so far, and as a name in general, if if those of you those of you might be here for uh just uh Visual novel stuff. You might not know. I played a lot of Phoenix Wright fan games, and there was one really good, one massive, really good fan game I played, where main villain was named she was uh, called themselves Sheol. And uh, the core of the fan game was centered around a uh, killing game, which I jokingly nicknamed Shields Dead and Breakfast. Okay. Well, she's uh, uh, scary to me. I can understand why. Normally I can get a read on people right away, but with her, bam, brick wall. Pretty much, yeah. I know what you're thinking. Roderick, my man, if you had a crush on a girl, why don't you just approach her? That wasn't at all what I was thinking. I have to come clean. Hmm? I want to talk to her, but I don't dare. She's too scary. I'm stuck in a vacuum of sorts, but because the scariness is also what's appealing to me. Mood? I'm in some sort of uh, emotional purgatory. In addition to being in a... Uh, Normal purgatory? Yeah! Crazy how that works, huh? I could put in a good word for you if you want. Oh, heavens no, please don't do that! I'd die! That ship has already sailed, Roddy. 
have decided. I shall continue to admire her from afar. No matter how much it scares me. How very brave of you. Isn't it, though? Thanks for talking me into this. I didn't... You're welcome, I suppose. I'll see you around. Absolutely, newcomer. I won't be budging one bit. If I see your friends Adam and Max, I'll uh, let you know, too. Thanks, Roddy. Have you worked up the courage to talk to Sheil yet? Hmm. Are you joking? Of course not. Oh. Don't worry, Isabel. I'm fine with the way things are. If it's supposed to happen, then it will eventually, you know? Well, in that case... Get me out of here. What do I want to do? I want to go back to you. What else do you have to say? Sorry, but we are busy. We talk some other time. All right, then. Darn. Sheol. Good evening, Sheol. I hope I'm not disturbing you. Stopped calling out. No more cold inspiration. The well is now dry. I will grant you a moment's respite. Hmm? I can talk. Are you talking to the wishing well? Yes. But you are assuming it to be a monologue. But it is not. I give and I give and take. It takes and gives. A dialogue. But it's just a... Uh, construction? It can't talk. <sighs> do you know what a wish is, Isabel? Of course I do. It's something you want. No. A wish is a bond. It is you sharing with, un with the universe what your soul most desires. Such an undertaking is not to be approached lightly. You've lost me, Sheil. Unsurprisingly so. Who are the demons you keep referring to? They are my beneficiaries. Um? Bales above the proud. Leviathan, the heretic. Asmodeus. Asmod... As... Hmm. As Vibe check time. Asmodeus? Or Asbadeus, the Living Fire, Bereth, the Blasphemer, Astroth, the Lazy, Watch Just Me, Verin, the Impatient, Gressil, the Insecure, and Senelian, the Hateful. Uh, some of those sounded more intimidating than others. It is not about intimidation, it's about human emotion. Conjuring those companions of mine reminds me of what I am, what I've lost, and what I may one day gain. I think I understand? You do not understand. Pray that you never will. Uh, okay then. Ooh, got any more poems? Very well. I loved him once true, so the darkened sun shone. But now, only rain. And that's beautiful. Oh, is that a smile? Thank you. That was a smile. Yeah. Winning. Do you get more? Very well. Once her eyes said yes. Then, many stabs of deceit. And since they say no. That's haunting. Oh, thank you. Hey, got any more for me? Very well. I gripped her soul tight. Realization struck, and so I could do nothing. That's Stella. Thank you. Is it, this is complimenting our girl hours. Very well. Wonderful they are. The way they dance merrily. If only I could. That's fantastic. Doing it for her. Thank you. They are, they are quite, they are quite enjoyable poems, not gonna lie, anymore. One more word for you. I love you. I love you so. 
one last word for you. Oh, that's gorgeous. Hmm. Thank you. Okay. Let's advance. One, once more, she appears. A lost and lonely kitten. Seeking Sheol's help. Are you talking about me? Possibly. Well, I wasn't necessarily seeking help. And why do you approach me? I've spent enough time living in dead to know my place. If you seek me, then you do so for aid. Aid which I have already granted you once. I don't see any reason to do so again. What happened with the... What, what happened with the whole, uh, I refuse to ignore our sister's plea shtick? So you admit that assistance is what you came to me for? Uh, no, I... Uh, can... Can... Can we start over? I wanted to thank you, actually. Without you, I'd probably still be trying to find my way to the waiting hall for that important talk with, uh... Shut up, Isabel. You're talking too much. You are welcome. She seemed cold when I first approached her, but now she's... Please leave now. Scratch that. <laughs> maybe, I should just, maybe I should just go? Can I get some more poetry first? You enjoy my words. I do. You really didn't come here just to ask me for something. Oh no, that look on your face. That's right. That means you get that a lot, don't you? Oh no. I was hoping we could just, uh, hang out a bit? By the blasphemy of Barrett, you are strange. It says the girl keeps name-dropping literal demons. <laughs> I fail to see what's strange about that. Right. Very well. <laughs> Very... <laughs> Very well. In which direction should we hang? What? Yeah. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, no. That's the worst possible interpretation of that. You suggested that we'd hang ourselves, did you not? <laughs> oh, God, no! God? Hmm. You're the wrong... You're in the wrong place to be shouting that. The guide's head pops up. Did you mean, oh, guide, no? <laughs> I mean, if you were someplace where God could actually hear you. She is a, a spiteful lady, and I'm unwilling to help anyone. Is she talking about Rem? Are you a denizen, too? Are you saying God is... bad? Hmm. God is perhaps more human than she'd cared to admit? Ultimately, anyone with power is... It corrupts, betrays, stabs you in the heart. They're all the same. God. The voice. All of them. Hmm. What about the guide? He's... Uh, he's the worst of them all. Yep. Yep, that, that tracks. I love him for it, but... That tracks. But at the same time, he's... Uh, I wish to end our collaborative hanging now, Isabel. <laughs> that has to be the first time anybody has ever combined those particular words. Uh, I... I see. Then we'll talk some other time, maybe? Swiftly like the wind, breeze of uncertainty, engulfed the poor child. can't figure her out at all. I wonder what she's been through to end up the way she is. What do you think of, what do you think of that, Roderick? Are you joking? Of course not. Oh. Oh. In that case, Roderick, you missed your shot. She's gone. Hmm. It is night, so we probably missed our chance to hang out with uh, Apex Legends. It means we have to go through a different another day? We're looking at here? All deities. Hello there! <sighs> what do you want, Miss Salvi? 
think I did bad time. I am quite in the middle of something, yes. And beyond that, I am deathly curious as to why you've chosen to visit my prestigious hall at this late hour. I, uh, I got lost. Is that a fact? N yes. If that's all... I like that painting. Buttering you up. Quite striking, is it not? It really is. I don't normally accept gifts for my, uh, sister. But when she brought me that, I had to make a rare exception to the rule. A Rem painted that? Who else would I be talking about? You utter imbecile. If that's all, what are you up to? Think carefully before you ask questions that you do not want to know the answers to, human. But maybe I do want to. No, you do not. If that's all. But if you're here, and you're there, I'm omnipresent. Purgatory is more than a place. Purgatory is a people. Oh no, it's also me. Yeah, that tracks. My body and mind work seamlessly together with eldritch powers of nature to post this place, enveloping everything in a black void. Everything you see is also me. Therefore, it is only natural that I can be everywhere all at once. After all, if something were to crawl on one of your toes, would you not feel it, regardless of whether or not your eyes were would be presently would presently be fixed there? That I stumbled over that sentence. After all, if something were to crawl on one of your toes, would you not feel it, regardless of whether or not your eyes would be presently be fixed on that hideous part of your anatomy? Y y you think feet are hideous? Very much so. If that's all, well, I'll leave you to it. Wise choice, Miss Selfie. Door. Special means? God looks a lot happier here than he does in reality. Wait. Employee of the Millennium. Hmm. And we're about humans, though. Yes. Very important. What else can we go here? Hall of Rooms. Yeah, we missed our chance. That's so good to get over that name. Went here late at night. Or counter. Guide Creek, Guide Arita. Guide Delicious. Shouldn't you be sleeping, Miss Salve? Are you always here? Correct. Doesn't it get boring? No. Okay, very good. Waiting hall. Oh, Shield's here too. Desdemonia. Cat girl Desdemona? Hello there, fellow night owl. Oh, um, hello. What's your story? A story? What a strange thing to ask somebody you just met. Uh, sorry, I guess I'm just a bit bored. There's not much to do at night around here. Mm hmm. Well, my story is that I'm uh, uh, waiting. Huh? That's all I ever do. What are you waiting for then? My wife. Your wife. Oh. You're waiting for the day she'll come through the tunnel? That, or appear magically out of thin air, or anything, really. My life wasn't worth much without her, and the same thing applies to this place. So, I'll keep waiting. Uh, forever, if that's what it takes. You must have loved her very much. I still do. It's been nice having someone to talk to. If you're ever feeling bored again, I'll be here. For all I know, I might be standing here for a long time. I'll keep that in mind. Oh. There's Timona. Monya. Hi again. Hello. Any luck on that waiting front? Not yet. I'm rooting for you. I appreciate that. Oh. Chill. If she wants to live... She must leave right this instant, or feel a shield's wrath. Oh no! Goodbye, shield. Just 
So no one is here. So I can't talk to Luminous. Alright. Suppose. Ding. Yes, miss. Good day, miss. Alright. My room. We have this option of clearly being here to, uh... Everything, despite everything, it's still me, and I'm quite pretty. Understandable. So, let's skip Nightfall. So we get up. We only advance the act once we uh, talk to Apex in the evening. Can't go here yet. The voice is here! I don't want to be rude, but I'm expecting new arrivals any moment now and I have to be prepared. Can we talk some other time? Oh, okay. Need more. Bangerl is the, uh... Ah, are you my under-eats delivery person? Uh, no, I'm the girl from before. And also, does Purgatory have a food delivery service? Unless you have my hamburgers, which I must have in order not to... In order to not starve during my extended stalking sessions, would you please just leave me alone? Did you say stalking sessions? No? <clears throat> really should warn the voice by this in person. Hey, but you can't be bothered. Right now, you're busy. Sorry, hon. Guide is not here. Oh, you're here. W! Oh god, we've seen you already. That's what that means. Understand, understand, understand. I don't understand. So lost. We need to do something for poor W. But you are not here. Apex is here. Groger! Jolly evening, lass! Hi, Groger. Still a pirate, huh? Yar. Okay, then. <laughs> Good day. You're still here? You are busy? This is still here. So, where's your jam buddies? They're on their way, man. Hmm. I don't think that we need a singer. Hmm? Maybe you. Uh, no. Freaking way. None to singing, huh? Not even a little. Ever tried? We might have fun in the right environment. I've tried enough. Hmm. Based on that reaction, I emphasize in the right environment. Like among friends instead of among uh, family pressure. You do know it's a skill that can be improved upon, don't you? But some asshole in your life told you that you had a bad voice or something, right? Let's kill the myth of people just magically being good at stuff, man. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, based. Based bliss. If you're struggling with something, if you're struggling with something, keep at it, keep fighting with it, and you will get better over time. It's possible. This is a positive message for all of you watching this, and for myself too. Because I need this is I need to call myself out with this too. I'm terrible at giving up on shit, because I feel like I'm... I suck shit, and I'm never gonna get any better. But, this is false. I'm jammed with this, and become an epic singer! I'll... I'll think about it. That's all I'm asking, man. Oh no. I'm... I'm unreasonably down for uh, Isabel and Bliss uh, rock band ending. Baby B unhanded, unlanded gentry. Hmm. Little Smiles. Hey, Little Smiles. That's me. Take out my new and upgraded smile. It's hard to see the details of it since you're a shadow. Oh, dang. I can't wait for these super secret uh, Little Smiles route where he finally 
gets a big white toothy grin on his shadow form. That's true. Have you considered uh, painting your teeth white or something? Hmm. That's a great idea. I want to find Pain Perk Toy. I'll leave you to your ideas, I think. Okay. Not really much to do here. Advanced Park. Realistically, I think we can just skip. Apex is here. Cheese Cheese 2 is here. Have you changed your mind, beautiful lady? Do you want to get rich after all? Cheese Cheese 2 trying to get me into an MLM. No, I'm fine. And don't waste my time. Sheesh. Apex, how you doing? If it isn't my favorite customer. Am I really? Absolutely. Again? Everyone's my favorite customer. Hmm. Oh, you are the reason why I can keep this wonderful enterprise alive. And so, what can I do for you today? I'm good, thanks. That smile is quite charming. Who's here? Voice is here. I wonder if... Hmm. Hi there, Isabel. You startled me. Didn't mean to do that. No worries. Okay, we can't talk much about it now. Exhausted all of your dialogue. This is still here, though. See you later. Groger's still here. Shield? Oh, no. Shield still wants us dead. Alright. I do like the changes here. Apex? Hmm. Main story. Salutations, esteemed customer. Oh, it's you. Welcome, Isabel. Seems like I've made an impression. Uh, obviously. Thanks to you, I managed to get I managed to get my hands on some authentic heaven dust. I'll never forget that. That's an apex guarantee. Oh, well, hold on. Detecting a control malfunction in the bottom neogenic circuit. Is, is that bad? Catastrophic. Potentially. Uh-uh. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, appears I just stepped on a piece of loose cable. <clears throat> uh, huh? Uh, do you want it? The, uh, piece of cable? Yeah. Um... No thanks. Your loss. After all, uh, you never know when you need one of those. They have a surprisingly wide area of utility. I'll just have to take your word for it. Right. So, Bliss really liked the work he did on his guitar. Did he now? Wonderific. That goes without saying, of course. The Perga store no compromises ever made to the quality of work. He said that it never looked better, in fact. He has an eye for proper craftsmanship, I'll give him that much. And I assume it's sound matched its look, too. I wasn't able to hear him play anything. Uh, the guide interrupted us. Ah, uh, anticlimactic. Yeah. The guide is... well... I owe a lot to him, but he does have some uh, invasive qualities to his personality. That's putting it mildly. Do I prefer him to our more recently appointed Overlord S? Really? To the voice? You mean the voice? Exactly. She's way too... friendly. And that's a bad thing? In my experience, people like that always have someone has something to hide. Oh no. Who hurt you, Apex, dear? No one is cheery all the time. It's just not possible. Hmm. We are going to play Pit Stop in Purgatory. I suppose we have to play Pit Stop in Purgatory for more context. For all his parts of quirks, the guide still has range in how he acts. Call me crazy, but that actually puts me more at ease than someone who's nice all the time. That is... <laughs> Except the invitation to call him crazy, oh dear. I know I'm being milk toast, but... Uh... We are practicing empathy with Isabel here. 
I'm sure you have your reasons for feeling that way. There are reasons for everything, Isabel. That goes without saying, don't you think? Hmm. At the end of the day, though, it's similar to when I ejected that one positronic anti-gravity thruster back at that anyone's help. Actually, I'm gonna run that back. I understand what you mean. I have a feeling you would. At the end of the day, okay. Hmm. Uh, I guess you have to be there to understand the analogy. Say that you need to make up your own mind about others. This is my truth. What's yours? That kind of thing. You're probably right. Ah, look at the time. I need to finish closing down for the day. Looking forward to our next border already. Even if the trade only ends up being in the form of words. Me too. Have a nice evening, Apex. My first impression of the voice was that I really liked her a lot, but I suppose appearance is maybe deceiving. Who knows? Alright, so I'm pretty sure that the way forward is somehow tied to the deities. The power they wield, the emotions that they bring out of paper bring out in people. Everything about them. Both Rem and Voluminous told me that this mission is huge and doesn't get much bigger than the duo who runs Purgatory, after all. I feel like I've had just about enough of the guide. But the voice? I'd like to talk to her again. I need to learn more about Purgatory and I have a feeling that she can help me out. Go with the goodies, Bell. Think that she may be in the Hall of Deities? Here's our route options. And talk to the voice of the Hall of Deities, midday. Okay, very good. Which means, you have to cycle through time here. Chill. Okay, very good. What is nighttime, after all? You're here. <sighs> I'll leave you to it. Wise choice. Goodbye. Probably not much changing day to day. Oh, right. She's in the Hall of Deities at midday. At midday. Hmm, I wonder if... Hello? Ah! Oh, hi there, Isabel. You startled me. I didn't mean to do that. No worries. Alright, let's continue the main story. Ah, Isabel. It's wonderful to see you again. May I ask how you've been finding Purgatory so far? Um... What is it? It's just that, well... The guide asked me that exact question, and, uh... He didn't mean... with he, His smile was nowhere near as uh, trustworthy as yours. Say no more. I'll talk to him about it, don't worry. <laughs> I didn't even say what... Isabel? Do you think you're the first new arrival that he's been treating badly? This is unfortunately a bit, uh, well, uh, par for the course. Uh, old habits die hard, and after all, you can find it in your heart to move past it and still enjoy your time here. I, um... Do you really have that kind of influence on him? Like, does he... listen to you? I'm sorry if I sound rude, but I heard that you... well... Please, don't be nervous. Let me hear what... let me hear what you want to say. People here keep reminding me that you were an ordinary human not long ago. And now... you're not? I'm sorry, I'm overstepping my bounds. Don't worry about it. It's a fair question. However, it is also a complex one. So that in mind, I hope you'll still be satisfied with a very simplified answer. Yes, he does listen to me. Despite the fact that I was a dweller up until recently. Uh, all right. And as I said, I'll definitely talk to him. I want you to have a good time here. After all, you might be here for a while. You know? That's true. Can I ask something else? Of course. Was he mean to you when he first came here too? You have no idea. That bad? 
Yep. For better or for worse, he does take his position very seriously. The methods he uses in the name of Purgatory's Betterment are sometimes, well, like the box. I suppose you could say he's not very uh, in tune with his humanity. If he uh, ever had anything to begin with, uh, I see. She really is nice. I can't find anything about her that puts me off. You know, I tried thinking about what the others had told me about her, but I should make up my own mind, right? And for now, I feel like I can trust her. Although, I must be careful not to talk about why I'm really here. What's the matter? Oh, sorry, I got lost in my thoughts for a moment. You do that too? Yeah. I think we're going to get on very well, Isabel. Oh. In fact, I just had a great idea. Oh? But you're aching to find out more about this place, aren't you? I am, actually. Great. And how about this? Every morning, I start my daily routine in the waiting hall. Think of it as a um, uh, big part of my job. Come join me there, and I'll give you a proper tour of the afterlife. You do that for me? Absolutely. I mean, what are Big Sisters for, right? <laughs> big Sister voice. Big Sister? Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm getting a bit carried away. When I was an only child, I've always wanted a sibling, and, um... I feel some sort of connection to you, to be honest. I did not mean to make you uncomfortable. <laughs> a teddy must be my sister? <laughs> I'd love to be your sister. All right, fantastic! Just give me a moment to fill out the obligatory paper. Wait, what? Are we, are we making this official? There's paperwork for that? I'm joking. Sis. <laughs> you got me. So it seems. Hey, for the record, I'm an only child too. Maybe that's also a part of the connection, huh? <laughs> Say, do you like movies? Movies? Yeah. To reeling, I'm still reeling from the fact that an actual afterlife deity wants me to be her sister. Now she wants to talk about movies? Well, yeah. I mean, who doesn't? Right? What kind of movies do you like? Ooh, 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 ooh. Vibe check time. Vibe check time. Scary stuff. Sci fi. Gripping dramas. Gripping dramas. So maybe with some quality intrigue. Great answer. Do you know the actress Pal Pal Pal, Pal Cacino? You know that Pal Pal Cacino, and that famous Italian dish they named after him, Caccio Caccio e Pepe. Did she play the Did she play the neglected wife of a mafia boss at one point? Oh, oh, flexing. That's it. Exactly. Yeah, she's breathtaking. No, Isabel, you're breathtaking. Definitely an inspiration. An inspiration? Oh, yeah, I... Actually, never mind. Hmm. You know if you watch me playing O2A2 games... I did speculate. Like, it's all but confirmed that, uh, The voice is the protagonist of the first game. Uh, Pit Stop and Purgatory. But I also... When we played Guy Delicious... A side story of sorts. I also speculated that... Speculated... Uh, whether or not... Uh, speculated that whether or not... Uh, the voice... Was the uh, POV character. And as such, the relevant backstory in Guy Delicious too. In which case, it would make this, uh... that comparison perhaps make a lot more sense. Spurned wife. Spurned wife, cheating scandal. Plain statue. Go burr. Actually, never mind. We can talk about movies some other time. Maybe after we finished the tour? If you want to, of course. You bet, sis. <gasps> So I'll see you in the waiting hall that morning, then? I'll be there. Amazing. She really seems great. Despite her being a deity now, she's in many ways the most human person I've met here so far. Does that even make sense? She 
meet her over in the waiting hall when I'm ready. Time of day is night? Oh, you're both here! Wait, time of day is night, but this is morning. And she said morning. Gaikun, they seem to be deep in their work. I'm feeling it's better not to, to not disturb them right now. Voice? Voice Nei Chan. They seem to be deep in their work. What we get? Evening. Anyone hanging around here? Guide is still here. Hi, Bliss. Bye, Bliss. We don't really have anything to advance here. In Delicio? I was already here. Sheol is still here. Is she any poems with me? No. Uh, no. Oh, we're all out. Time is infinite here. I require no gratitude for parting with that. With that which I have in such abundance. Oh no. Or did we lose out on, uh... Did we lose our poem rights because uh, we rubbed Sheol the wrong way? In which case, that's unfortunate. <gasps> we can talk to the boy. Talk to the boy. Luminous, are you there? And Isabel, you called. How's it possible to contact you with a rock? I'd be lying if I said I fully understand the logistics of it all. As it was a wise bird once said. Hmm? <laughs> it just works. <laughs> That's all you can say about it? Just about. I apologize if that wasn't what you wanted to hear. It's fine. What's what's the deal with you and the guide? What do you mean? He clearly knew things about you. Hmm, did you used to be a uh, dweller? He knows things about everyone. Is there something you're not telling me? If there were, it most certainly doesn't concern you. I'm sorry, that was uncalled for. Let's just leave it at that, shall we? Not like I have a choice. What is he hiding? Tell me something about yourself. Hello? I'm sorry. My skills when it comes to discussing myself are... negligible at best. Give it a try! Oh no. Pain. Have you heard of the Saint... The Saint Casareke clan? Clan? St. Casareke chain of private hospitals. I think I have, actually. Wait. The guy had mentioned your surname earlier, Casareke. It's Casareke, isn't it? Yes. You're from that rich family? You guys even gave my father a run for his money. Mm. You're from a distinguished background as well. I guess you could say that, yeah. And you know that it can be both a blessing and a curse. Yes. Hmm. Was there anything else you wanted to talk about? Ah. How do you know, Reb? I don't know if it would be right to say that I know her. In fact, I doubt anyone really does. How did you start working for her, then? After dying in a sudden car crash, I found myself in front of those pearly gates. I was still reeling it from, from the trauma of it all when this, uh, person appeared in front of me. At first, she didn't look like she does now. In fact, she had the form of a man. Huh? Yes, well, she can shapeshift, you see. She has a number of different appearances, although the one she calls Rem seems to be a favorite of hers for some reason. Heck, why she identifies as such, aside from simply being known as God. That's crazy. But I digress. At my lowest point, she told me I was special. I was confused by that at first. Something I'm sure you can relate to. With time, however, we grew closer. She helped me. Deal with things. And for that, I owe her. She's an unpredictable force of nature, but there's also something genuine behind all that insanity. At least that's what I want to believe. Like, it's the power and the godhood that drives her off the wall, but uh, there's still a uh, undercurrent of humanity beneath it all. But it's still curious, though.
He doesn't seem entirely convinced. That's all for now. I see. In that case, I wish you the best of luck in your ongoing efforts. Do let me know if you ever need me again. The boy. This evening. Skip to morning. Oh, it's night. You're still here. I'm gonna jump straight to morning. Isabel, you made it! Your punctuality makes this big sister proud. Mm. Are you being sarcastic? Uh, not at all. Did it come across that way? I'm just not used to getting praise, I guess. I know the feeling. Don't worry, I'm being sincere. Keeping time is one of those great qualities I envy in others, since I'm pretty bad at it myself. A deity who has trouble being punctual. I guess I've... now I've really heard everything. So are you ready for the grand tour? As ready as I can possibly be, I think. Great! Let me tell you about my routine, then. Beginning every morning, I welcome new dwellers to Purgatory. All of them? I mean, there must be a lot of dead people coming here. Ah, uh, no. And this is when... Things get a bit interesting. See, I have a, uh... And this always feels awkward to say out loud because it sounds a bit narcissistic. A... a gift. What kind of gift? I have a knack for talking to people and making them feel, uh... At ease, I guess you could say? It's a bit like feeling the emotions of others. That why you always come across as being nice? Because of this gift? And so I'm pretty good at saying things that put worries to rest, helping our visitors endure their stay as they prepare to one day leave. That's why you're called The Voice. Quite fitting, isn't it? It really is. That explains why I instantly felt calm when meeting her, I suppose. You're like a, a super psychiatrist. In a way. My skill set is useful here in Purgatory because of the trauma associated with dying. Some dwellers being more trouble than others. And I'm the guide. And the guide, well, he doesn't exactly help them feel any less troubled. Understandable. However, I'm only one person. And because of that, I mainly spend time with those who truly need it. The rest are greeted by the guide. Because he has the ability to be everywhere at once. That's right, he's omnipresent. I'm impressed that you've already managed to piece that together. As expected from my little sister. <laughs> Thank you. Just getting used to it, getting praise. Love that. So, um, do you all want me standing here when you're talking to people who just died? Uh, no, no. I'm sure you understand that those talks are very personal for obvious reasons. Besides, I wouldn't want to bore you. So then, today's meetings are already over and done with. Then why did you tell me about them? Aren't you interested, aren't you interested in what your big sister does for a living? Oh, Love that. But um, tsh, pun intended. It is interesting to hear about. I thought you'd feel that way. Now we'll be on to the next part of my routine, which is wellness patrol. Sounds wholesome. It is, most of the time, at least. Hmm? As the name sort of implies, I visit various places here in Purgatory, making sure that everyone's doing okay. And if not, I do what I can to help out. Most of the time, I find meeting dwellers to be a positive experience. But there are those that I haven't been able to quite reach. Uh, emotionally, I mean. I'm guessing, I'm guessing she means people like Bliss, Apex, and especially Sheil. Everyone's well-being is the most important thing to me. I must have doing my best for every dweller who stays here with us. That's very kind of you. I suppose it might be. Out of my rambling. Seriously, Isabel, you have to say stop when Big Sister starts going off like this. I like hearing you talk. Aw! Oh. Aw! Oh. I'm happy to hear that. For today, let's start, by, let's start by visiting Dead Man's Park. I don't know if you've been there already, but it's basically the entertainment area of Purgatory. It's designed to look like a cozy and inviting small city, with restaurants, delightful scenery, and so on. You designed it. So it wasn't here before you became a deity? That's right. 
Dead Man's Park is uh, like a lot of things, other things I've come up with. It was created to make Purgatory a more pleasant place to stay for humans. The guide's vision of the place is a bit more uh, uh, Spartan compared to mine. You can say that again. The guide's vision of the place is a bit more uh, Spartan compared to mine. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> now let's go. That's precious. Oh, along with the voice on our wilderness patrol. Heck yeah. What a lovely day. It would be even more lovely if you could actually see the sun. Yeah. Fortunately, there's a massive layer of void surrounding this place, which I haven't been able to entirely able to get rid of yet. I can tell. Still, it's better than nothing, right? Definitely. Someday this place will shine brightly, and then I'll be able to say, All's well that shines well. <laughs> I've never heard that saying before. That's because I just made it up. Oh, right. Looks like we're about to get some company. Oh, hello there. Maximilian, Yolandi, you're looking well today. She remembers, she remembers our names. I know, right? We are. Not worthy. They just fell to their knees in front of her. She really is popular with the locals, isn't she? Please, rise, both of you. You don't, don't need to treat me like I'm your superior. But, but, you are our superior. Before you came here, everything was miserable. Miserable like milkshake. Like milkshake? What do you got against milkshakes? Miserable like spoiled milkshake. There you go. Yes, indeed. And now, we're, we're actually, dare we say it? We dare. Happy, exquisitely joyous. Damn it, Yolande. What are you looking at me for? You're supposed to keep it simple. But two syllables aren't enough to properly convey my emotions. <clears throat> oh, you two. That loyalty sure is a sight to behold. And well earned. So very well earned. The love you show me is very moving, and I will continue to do my best to live up to that trust. You have it unconditionally, my lady. Forever and ever, my lady. Our lady. Her smile. She's loving this. <laughs> but is it because she loves seeing them happy? Or is it because she loves being worshipped? I want to believe it's the former. Oh, but where are my manners? I entirely, I entirely forgot to introduce you to each other. Yes, well, these are Maximilian and Yolandi, two of our lovely residents. Maximilian and Yolandi, this is Isabel, who is new here in Purgatory. I hope you'll show her the same warmth and compassion that you've already showed me. A new dweller who used to follow the ways of a troll? Should be very, very special. I'm jealous. Me too. Are you crying? <laughs> no. Definitely not. And please don't be sad, my dear shadows. You know that I do not play favorites. <laughs> if you say so, my lady. We won't question it, my lady. Our lady. Hello, Isabel. Welcome to Purgatory, Isabel. If you want to talk, then we're here for you. I appreciate that. It's time for the tour to continue, I'm afraid. We want for a remainder of eternity, my dear friends. Oh, we will. Thanks to you, we surely will. Uh, well. That went well, right? Absolutely. Well, many seem happy about how things have improved here. These two in particular have always been uh, extra enthusiastic. I can imagine. I also find them inspiring. Despite being shadows, they've managed to find true love in the afterlife. <laughs> and all the bickering and uh, disagreements that it can bring. So there? A couple? Yes. They, fin they finish each other's sandwiches. I'm sure you noticed that they were quite in sync. Uh, yeah, I, I did. Very much so. If love is what you seek, then it can be found here. Well, sometimes it's difficult to know exactly where to look. Hmm. Oh, there's no better feeling than, uh... Hi, Sheil. By the hatred of Sanelian. That's you. Sheil. Uh, 
Oh, could cut this tension with a knife. Uh, how are you? Miserable. Wolf in sheep's clothing. She took what was mine by right. Oh? And now, she's laughing. I wonder if she all wanted a place at the... At the guide's right hand. I'm not laughing? Are you satisfied by his side pretender? Oh, I... I may have just called that... Inadvertently. Seconds before, she admits it. <laughs> Do you sleep well on pillows stuffed with feathers from those you have wronged? I never... Hmm... Isabel? Hmm? It's... Disappointing. Seeing you next to this... Snake. Well, I... For what she said, I take it you've already met. Just... Briefly. Don't worry, I won't judge you. What? She has her reasons for hating me, you see. All I can do is try winning her over one day at a time. I assume that hasn't gone too well so far. Right. I knew Shield didn't like the voice, but that was cold. Can't imagine what could have happened between the two of them. I think this just about wraps up our stay in the park. Next up is the burger store, which is our uh, general store. Yeah, I know. I've already met Apex, too. Wow, you sure get around. I'm beginning to think that this little tour is of no use to you. I mean, if you're being honest here, it's great spending time with you regardless. Oh, little sister. That's so sweet of you. You're sharing me like that. It almost makes me tear up a little bit. Let's move on, shall we? Anything else we may be able to assist a dweller or two in their trade decisions. Sounds great. What if we're going to meet W here? Oh, there's no one here. Strange. It's about as empty as the other times I've been here, actually. Really? Hmm. Can we please talk about this later? We really need to tend to my customers. Do you hear that, Isabel? Yeah, someone's talking. I knew it. There were customers. Please excuse the wait. I need to, uh, degauss the nuclear, nuclear rubidium casing. Hmm. <laughs> ah, Isabel. And, uh, the voice. Did you come for your set of, uh, restored movie reels? <sighs> Get with the boobies! You know me all too well, Apex. And while I didn't come here for that reason, I'll gladly accept them, of course. What would you like in return? It's on the house. This work on these things is, is its own reward. Such fascinating technology. It's basically primeval in its lack of sophistication. <laughs> I'm sure they would appear that way for someone like you, given the world you're used to. Oh, what are you talking about? What world? Let's not go down that route with so little time left until closing, eh? It's the middle of the day. Still. Hey, Bex, I hope you don't mind me asking, but it sounded like you were having a discussion with someone when, the, someone when we came in. You must have heard wrong. I am the only one here, after all. Maybe it was the wind. The wind? I'm quite sure I didn't miss hearing. With all due respect, you're called the voice, not, uh, the ears. The hearing. <laughs> you're right. Forgive us, for, forgive us for, for, yeah, forgive us for breaking it up. Why are you including me? What kind of sister would I be if I didn't include you? <laughs> are you two are related? I can explain what she means, but it is almost time to close down the store, so, uh, touche. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Guide Jumpscare, and I'm interrupting your round of uh, insufferable pleasantries. Yes. Good. <laughs> I see you've decided to bring Miss Salvi along as well. Oh, uh, excruciatingly foreboding. <sighs> what? Apex? My lord? Why haven't you delivered the thing I requested yet? Has the premier purgatory artisan lost his touch? I began to work on it, but I noticed a control malfunction in the nanowave quantum shift core booster. I 
needed to fix the containment splitter, and, uh, silence. Enough of your excuses. When I, granted you, when I granted you the immeasurable honor of opening this establishment in my realm, you gave me your word that you'd... Suddenly, I am reminded that there are prying ears present. Then maybe you shouldn't barge in on someone else's conversation? Easy now, my dear partner. We shouldn't tussle in front of the children, after all. Mm. As for you, Apex, uh, you're running out of time. If you fail to meet this particular deadline, the Perga store will have to be temporarily closed. Look out of its owner being away on a company retreat to the box. Not the box. I'll finish it. Don't worry. I am never worried. I am never worried. I just uh, simply put people in the box when they disappoint me. Uh, toodles, everyone. Well, that was awkward. You all right? I'm fine. Thanks for the concern. This is all my own fault. He's right. I failed to live up to the promises I made when he gave me all this. I'll do better from now on. As a guide. For myself. Most importantly. The store. That is an apex guarantee. Your store is more important than, uh, you? Much more important. Uh, we're we're done here for today, Isabel. Are we supposed to help him out? We're supposed to help him out? I mean, I, I know what you meant. I said, we're done here for today. Right. That's a concerning turn of voice. Bye, Apex. I've begun working on something. It's like he doesn't even hear me. Is there more to this? Than it might seem with the, the voice's reaction here? Is it because she knows that she can't reach him? Is in too deep with a guide, or next stop is the Aroboros Bar. I'm sure you're familiar with that location as well. Sure am. Is she angry with me? No. Be prying to something we shouldn't have. Let's sit down for a moment, Isabel. All right. Have I done something wrong? Listen to me. You must never question me in front of dwellers. Never. I. It's my fault, too. I should have been more clear. It's very important that they uh, trust me. Can't have that compromised by some girl who. Some. Girl, huh? Up a sister. I'm sorry, that came out wrong. Maybe a deity now, but I'm still under a lot of stress. Now that might not be very, uh, deity ish uh, of me. Please keep in mind, I'm new with this. I'm still figuring it out, and sometimes I wonder if it's even real at all. I keep thinking maybe it's all a dream. I know the feeling. I'm sorry for lashing out at you. And I sincerely regret if I made this little tour less valuable for you because of that. Valuable? Don't worry, I learned quite a few things from it. I'm glad I went with you. Oh, it's good to hear. With everything you've seen today, I'm sure you have some questions. Please, go ahead and ask them. All right, well... I think at this point... Oh, wow, yeah, we've gone over an hour. We'll pick this up here. Now that, now that that tension's broken a little bit, we'll pick this up here next time. A bit of a cooling off uh, between us and uh, our big sis. Until then, until then. <laughs>